In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play the bass line from In the Midnight Hour by Wilson Pickett. This was the legendary duck done on bass. And this is a great line to work on if you're relatively new to the instrument. If you just started out with the bass guitar, this is a great song to take on because it's relatively uh, simple to play, but uh, there's some, lots of nice stuff in here as well. Now, if you wanna see a full transcription of this piece, just click on the link below. That's gonna take you to my 61 page PDF guide to playing the bass guitar. That's a free guide. Contains loads of useful information on playing the bass, as well as a transcription of this song and several other simple songs as well. Okay, let's check out the intro and verse groove from this song. Okay, so the first four bars of this track are very simple. We're just playing a single note per bar. It's one of those big soul intros. So in the first bar, we play a D. Fifth fret of the A string. In the second bar, we play a B. Second fret of the A string. In the third bar, we play an A. I'm playing that as a fifth fret E string A. You could use the open A string if you prefer. And then the fourth note is a G. Uh, third note of the E string. One chord or one note per bar. Now there is one other little rhythmic thing that we just need to briefly talk about before we uh, before we move on. So the first chord comes in on beat one of bar one. So one, two, three, four. So that's the D. But the next one comes half a beat early. So the B arrives on the and or the upbeat of beat four. So we get this. Three, four, one, two, three, Four and. So that B comes on the and of beat four. It's just coming in half a beat early. Just gives the line a little bit of a rhythmic lift at that point. And then we do the same thing for the next two chords. The A begins on beat one of bar three. One, two, three, four. And then the G again comes half a beat early. So that's our intro. Nice and simple, but very, very recognizable. It's uh, uh, a line that everybody knows, I think. Now from there, we go into a two bar uh, uh, further intro section, which uh, is going to give us the bass line from the, from the verse. And this is very simple. This is a single uh, bar groove that's just repeated over and over again. And we have two chords in this bar, uh, a chord of E major for the first two beats and then a chord of A major for the next two beats. And all we play here is an arpeggio. And that's uh, an arpeggio is a, a term for basically the notes in a chord, but played one at a time rather than all together. So the notes in an E major chord are E, G sharp and B, and we're just going to play those notes. So open E, and then G sharp, fourth fret of the E string, stick your fourth finger on there, and then the B at the second fret of the A string. Then in the second half of the bar, the, the chord changes to A major, and the notes in an A major chord are A, C sharp, and E, and again, we're going to use those notes. These are chord tones, we're playing a line here that's based very heavily, or in fact entirely, on chord tones. So in the second half of the bar we play the open A, the C sharp, fourth fret of the A string, and then the E at the second fret of the D string. So it's the same sequence, just moved up a string. And that gets us all the way through the intro. So in the first four bars we've got those chords, two, three, That's the entirety of the intro. Now that bass line that we've just played with the arpeggios, that's actually gonna take us all the way through the verse as well. So in what we've covered so far in this very, very brief lesson so far, we've actually done all of the intro section and all of the verse sections. So let's now have a look and see what happens in the chorus section of this song. So as you can hear, for the chorus, we're carrying on in the same vein. We're gonna be playing more of those arpeggio figures. 
So for the first four bars of the chorus section, we're going to be playing uh, a, a chord per bar, a chord of B major, a chord of A major, and then B major, A major again. So first bar of the chorus is going to be a B major arpeggio, B, D sharp, and F sharp. So B at the second fret of the A string, D sharp at the first fret of the D string, and F sharp at the fourth fret of the uh, D string. And we're just going to do that twice in that bar. In the bar that follows, we change the A major chord, and we're using the same sequence that we had back in the, in the verse. Just doing that twice. Back to the B major chord. A. That gives us the first four bars. Then we go back to the, uh, the, the two chord thing that we had back in the, uh, in the verse. That line. We're going to play that three times. And then in the final two bars of this section of the song, we're just going to do a kind of, it's like a brief re-intro, if you like. We're taking the first two chords of the intro and playing them again. So the D and the B. And we're going to play them like this. So we're playing notes on each beat, really. One, two, three, four, and two, three, four. So we've still got that push on the and for the, for the B chord. Okay, so that takes us through uh, all of the verse section and all of the chorus section. And if you're looking at the transcription, you'll see that there's a repeat mark now. And that means you're going to go all the way back to the beginning of the verse and play it all through for a second time. Okay, so now let's check out what happens in the instrumental section of this track. Once again, I'm sure you can hear that we're using material that we've already covered in uh, earlier parts of this lesson. So for the first two bars of this instrumental section, we're just using that, uh, that one chord, uh, that one bar bass line, I should say, that we've already established. So we're going to play two bars of that. Then in the third bar of the instrumental section, we just do something ever so slightly different. We play the, the E chord as normal. And then you'll see that the, the second half of that bar is a D major chord. And we're going to play something a little bit different here. We're going to play the open D. And then we play D flat and C. So the open D string and then the D flat and the C are on the A string, frets 4 and 3. And that's just really dragging our ear downwards because in the fourth bar of this sequence, we're moving to a B chord. So we're kind of moving down chromatically from the D to the B chord. So in the fourth bar of the instrumental section, we're going to be playing that B major arpeggio that we've uh, already established in the, uh, in the previous part of the lesson. So first four bars of the instrumental section sound like this. From there, we go back to the, uh, the, the single bar groove again. We're going to play that three times, and then in the eighth bar, the final bar of the instrumental section, the chord changes to B again, but we're just going to play four simple root notes. That brings us to the end of the instrumental section, which is uh, fairly simple to play, and takes us into the outro of the song, where we're just going to be playing that, uh, that single bar groove over and over again until the track fades out. Okay, so as I said at the beginning of the lesson, this is a fairly simple song to get together, but it's got a very, very cool bass line. It's another great illustration of how effective chord tones can be, and it's a lot of fun to play. So I hope you enjoy working through it. Okay, guys, thanks for checking out this song with me. I hope you enjoyed working through it. Don't forget to click on the link below to download your PDF guide to playing the bass, which contains a transcription of this song and several others. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see more content like this in the future. And if you have any suggestions for songs that you'd like to see me cover in these videos, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.